Hey everyone, Steven Rounds here. I want to take a minute, go ahead and give you guys a demonstration of the awesome new tool Moby Mimic. What Moby Mimic does is it creates mobile websites for you in just a few short clicks. This is true copy and paste mobile websites. For example, in my town we have Chico Yard and Pool and these guys are just yard and pool guys. That's all there is to it. This is what their website looks like. Okay, to make this a mobile website all I have to do is select this, click copy. Now I go into Mobi Mimic and I say new link. I paste this here, give it a name, and click go. And in just a few short seconds, we've made a mobile website for Chico Yard and Pool. And this is exactly what it would look like if you were to go ahead and access this from a mobile phone. The website is complete. All you need, and you can see what it would look like in an Android phone, an iPhone, a Blackberry, or a Windows phone. This is exactly what the website would look like. And if you were happy with this website, all you would need to do is take this custom code snippet, copy it from here, Go ahead and paste it into the header for Chico Yard and Pool. And when Chico Yard and Pool is accessed from a mobile phone, it will redirect to this website for them. Now, how functional is it, you might ask? Well, I'm going to tell you it's very functional right out of the gate with just a few short button presses. And we can go into our saved links, click this, and it's going to actually show us down the left-hand side exactly what that mobile website looks like and how it functions. If somebody wanted to request an estimate, when they clicked on this button, it would show them the content off the request estimate page. If they wanted to contact you. It's the exact same content off each of the pages that were on their website. Now, if you wanted to tune it up a little bit and thought, well, you know what, that looks pretty good, but I think I can make it look a little cleaner. You have that option as well within Moby Mimic. All you have to do scroll down here you'll notice there's also a site map that didn't show up if you wanted that site map to show up in the menu we put simply put it in use and then in menu and the site map would show up if you wanted the map to have a different icon and you select a different icon for the map so right now we're editing the Chico landscapers page if we wanted to edit the home page we just click this and it will tell us to save our changes so we'll save those changes just so we don't lose anything we want to remind you now we can go up here to the home page and you'll notice that it doesn't matter which page we're on it's added that sitemap button because the page is now included and it's now in the menu if you didn't like a page you could click the trash can and get rid of the page or you could simply if you wanted the contact one out of there we take it out of use and the contact us button disappears you didn't have to delete it and now it's now just no longer in any of the page menus so we're on the request estimate page what if we were on the home page and we want to change the look and feel of this we can enhance the pages if we want we don't need these links anymore because now we have buttons for them this is a mobile page we don't need the links that came off the website we can just go ahead and click the delete button and it gets rid of those cleans up the page really easily maybe you want these pictures closer to the top maybe you don't want them at the bottom well you simply grab the block and you move those pictures to wherever you want them to show up drop it there now on the home page the pictures have been moved just beneath the menu and above the form now you can do really cool things like we could insert an image here we could add a new button and they can go anywhere you want you can select the icon for that button add it to the website and now you'll see that it added the button here if you wanted to rearrange the, the buttons that you just added you can do that um, maybe you want to move that button elsewhere very easily done and now whenever somebody clicks on that it would go to yahoo.com or whatever link you put in there you can add an empty vertical space in if you find that you want some more breaks here in between stuff insert your empty vertical space as big or as small as you want 
click add to website that'll get moved up to the top you can just grab this put it down wherever you want it and now you've got a little bit of a space in in between there if you wanted to add content select this and you can put in regular text or you can put in HTML it doesn't matter so you could actually add like a YouTube video or something in here you get the YouTube YouTube embed code and put it in here or other HTML and it'll work fine or maybe you just want to add a new paragraph into the mobile website we select add to website you'll find this was added up at the top and then you just drag it to wherever you want and we put it there and now you see my new content there. You could add a banner. You scroll up, see what that looks like. Nice big banner. And this would be for informational pur purposes. It looks like a um, button, has that same design. You could add a click to call button. So we took out the contact us link in the page selection here. We don't have that page in there anymore. Maybe you want to add a um, call us now button or something like that. Click to call. Call us now. Put in the phone number. Click add to website. And now it has gone ahead and added the call us now button. Somebody goes to this website on the mobile page, clicks the call us now button. It's automatically going to initiate the call us now function on the mobile phone. And then, of course, you could do the same thing with uh, maps. You put a label in here, you know, find us now. And then you go into Google Maps and create your uh, link. I like the short code myself. Get the short code, put it in here. When they click on it, it'll take them to Google Maps. Really cool, easy stuff to do. Now you've got the content that you like on that page. It's just the way you want it. Now we can change the design a little bit. You can take the existing custom design or you could choose from the, one of the existing designs we have here. Just so you know, we're going to be adding new designs on a regular basis, and depending on what plan you choose, we'll determine whether or not you have access to that. Uh, but we've given you a decent amount to start with. Maybe, um, since he's a yard and pool guy, we, we try and see what the, the blue looks like. Click on the blue. Makes a nice website for us. And if we wanted to save that, we could do it. We can go back here to um, design and themes and we can go with our custom design and when we go with the custom design we can then we have the option to use custom colorizations and you can change things like the button colors you can change the text color uh, you can change the background color maybe we just wanted to make the background color a blue like this as soon as we set it it's going to change that um, if you wanted to change the button color to something else you can make button color red set that it's going to put a nice gradient on it so it's a snappy looking website if you don't like the gradient you click no gradient and it's really that simple okay. I like this better after all and we're just gonna go with that theme that's good to go now we've changed the design all we have to do now is take this code snippet right here put it in the header for Chico Yard and Pool and you're done. Simply repeat the process for every page you're on. You can see that each page as we see it in an Android phone it has the same design elements and if you wanted to add more buttons to each page, add more content to each page, you'd be able to do that. If there were things that you didn't like on the page, didn't look quite right, you just click delete, take those off and go through your page list. Here we say it gives us a reminder that we have unsaved data. We go ahead and click save. It'll save this data and that's all there is to it. In just a few short minutes you can have a fully functioning website of your own design for you or your customers. It's really that simple. There's some additional features I didn't cover in this uh, quick video but I think you get the point. Enjoy it and as usual I will see you on the inside.